Woohoo! I said auto load. That's good. That means it recognized something, guys. That's a good sign. I can't wait to see this intro again. It's so good. Kino. He doesn't shoot once. He shoots twice, guys. Because he's got two pistols. By the way, Dante's not edgy. He's just cool. And look, you hear the slicing? Oh, my God. Sick. Listen to the, the intro music again. Get you guys feeling it. Damn, two retro nights in one week, guys. We're spoiled. And we got uh, Kumite coming up next week, I think, for New York. I knew you guys would be back. I love that. You saw that? The twosome? That was great. That That's such a great cutscene it showed there. That double jump. Where are we in the story, Vesper? Wait, there's a story? You just blew my mind. Look how sick Dante looks in this game. Except for that devil trigger, that's uh, questionable. It shows Dante shooting the screen so many times. Damn, that's a good intro, man. That's a hell of a good intro. Did you guys know they greenlit this game before Devil May Cry 1 came out? That's how crazy Capcom was back then. They were rolling in so much dough. They greenlit this game before it even came out. The first one. And they put the arcade team on it. They were crazy, guys. Capcom was nuts. Like, that is so nuts. Just thinking about that, guys. From a corporate point of view, how crazy that is. Let's put a bunch of inexperienced developers on a sequel for a game that hasn't even came out yet. That is so, like, <laughs> early 2000s Capcom. It's not even funny. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, so anyways, this is part two. Uh, so this is a two-disc game, man. That's content. That's one more disc than Devil May Cry 1, which means Devil May Cry 2 is better, because it got two discs. So the first disc is Dante, and this disc is the second character, Lucia. Uh, the lady with the red hair that looks like she's from a Zelda game. So we're gonna play her. I don't know anything about her. <laughs> I don't know her story or anything. Uh, you guys said she's got different missions, though, so that's good at least. More content. And, uh, apparently it's shorter, too. So that's pretty much all I know. And uh, once we complete both these characters, let me kind of figure out where we're going forward with this game. We know there's like a bloody palace to unlock, but in terms of uh, Dante must die mode, yeesh. I did some research on it, guys, and it's uh, it's pretty rough. It's pretty jank. It's not really cool compared to Devil May Cry 1. And I guess I'll explain it during the playthrough, but let's get going, guys. Retro Night, woohoo! Ooh, new loading screen too. Cool. Hey, she looks pretty cool. Does she have guns? Oh, it's the same intro? I was hoping it'd be a different intro. In a time long since past. Refresh our course. In an age of darkness, when the earth was overrun with demons. And humans were powerless. Yeah, she better have guns, man. Because they're pretty strong in this game. Humanity's hope I wish my stats carried over, though. Named Sparta. Or maybe they do. With a spirit unlike we'll have to see. Other, and wielding the sword but I don't think it will, because there's no name. save file to Sparta load. Eradicated the demons. How did Dante uh Grab the coin and exchange it with another coin that looks exactly the same. How does he know what the coin looks like? And now, the legend of Here it comes, guys. Get ready for it. By his son. The Demon Slayer, Where'd it go? Dante.
too sick. I don't understand how he grabbed the coin and then went through the glass. That makes no sense. Unless it was like a prestige thing. I don't understand why she went into battle stance. Like, he had her at gunpoint. What the hell was she gonna oh. do? Devil magic? Is that like the nano machines of DMC guys? You just say devil magic? Till next time, son of Sparta. What kind of accent is that? Till next time. Son of Sparta. She sounds like Lily. Only I can hear it. Oh, cool. New mission on the screen. Toward the south, the protector will find the time. All right. So where do we start? Huh? Oh, this is after she met up with Dante. So we're like halfway through mission one. What the hell? We're just kind of in the middle of it. Oh, so it is the same area. All right, so Bunky is going to be our guide again. He's going to help us find all the blue orbs. But even if I miss some, it's not a big deal because uh, there's mission select in this game, which is awesome. All right, what kind of moves does she have? I need to get on the floor here. She have a double jump? Okay, good. We have air hike. Cool little flip. Does she have guns? Okay. Desperado action here. She has infinite knives. Okay. Alright, uh, let's see her. At least I'm used to the jumping now. Oh, one, one, one slash is two slashes. And... So, Bunky, is it the same? Is it a uh, whole joystick in a direction after two, three, four slashes? Oh, it looks like whole direction gets her to kick in the first place. Okay, it's slightly different, Bunky, because, uh... She has one that's like no sl no slashes. Yeah, so it's no one and two. Okay, that was kind of cool. All right, what else we have? What's our roll look like? Well, that's kind of cool. She does like a spin. I like the spin. Uh, does she have stainer? Her stainer is a front flip kick. That's her launcher. Uh, what else is there? Can she run on walls? I'm assuming this is not like a flat wall right here. This doesn't make any sense. She front flips onto the wall and then, okay, whatever. Whoa, she spins while wall running. That is cool. I did not expect that. Okay, okay. Uh, wait, does she have Devil Trigger? I didn't even think about that. What kind of items does she have? The Arc- Oh, she's got the coin. One of the holy relics that were once used to seal the Great Demon. And... Amulet. Frost- Oh, she starts off with the Frost one. That's interesting. Cut- Cut- Cut laser. Cut laser. Arsenal. Throwing daggers. Silver knives. Okay. So, she does have DT? I'm confused. Uh, where's the, the thing that tells our moves? Action. Flip escape. Yep. Air hike. Kick jump. Wall hike, yeah. Rapid fire. Uh, kick enemies while they're low. Long to a target, then press the left analog stick while jumping. Two sometimes, still the same. Lush. 
Long target and press triangle at the same time, lying on the ground after a jump. Ooh, what's this? Stand on hands and then kick enemies. Okay, so I gotta lock on while landing. I press attack. Weird. What the hell is that DT? Okay. Lush. Oh, I just did it. It's spinning bird kick. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, where is Bunky? Where is he? Uh, oh, Bunky's telling me her moves. She has TK Steiner kick. Do air Steiner really low to the ground. Oh, I just did the move that Bunky was trying to explain. Okay. Where am I going? What am I doing? Am I going this way or the other way? I'm so confused. The other way is where Dante came from. I can't even go close to that door. Well, there's red orbs here, so I take it. I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, never mind. It's a dead end. So this is the way Dante went. And we're going, we're backtracking. Okay, at least we know which way to go now. That's kind of weird. So how's everyone doing? How's your guys' weekend going? Super excited to play some more retro today. I gotta say, guys, we were playing uh, some Tekken 8 last night. Learning uh, Asuka. Or Oscar. Or Asuka. And I woke up today, guys. Well, there was a story behind that, but... Man, I was jonesing to play some more Tekken. Like, I'm really enjoying Tekken. I want to play more. Like, I'm going to put it into our regular schedule, I think. Tekken is fun. It was fun getting coached by White Wind, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Oscar. You too woke up today? Nice. What happened to Ed? Oh, we're playing Ed tomorrow. Ed, the Ed's also hilarious because now we have the eternal option select. There's tons of funny Ed stories to tell for tomorrow. So in conclusion, DMC2 is so trash you want to play Tekken 8 instead? <laughs> no, no, Tek DMC2 is fun, man. This is fun. It's also fun, like, reading forums of people that do really enjoy this game and, like, seeing all people who get super salty over it. Makes me laugh. This ain't DMC. There's a lot of people who are who got the HD collection that never played the series, right? Oh, I had to use orbs to break the seal. I, I, I remember there was no doors that were like that. And this is next to Ryu. No, people consider Ryu mid tier now. Those buffs are strong, guys. You guys keep thinking I joke around when I say that, but that Hasho Geki buff is so good. We see only just 10 secret rooms and everyone gives an aura. Okay. So there's not as many things you gotta tell me. Okay, first enemy. Let's hear what combat is like. Oh, she has different music. Why does her music sound so jazzy? Showtime, baby. So remember, the trick to getting your uh, points up in this game is to simply always roll. Another good thing, too, and this is the same Devil May, uh, Devil May Cry 1 that I forgot to mention to you guys. Is that um, the higher your your grade during the fight, the more orbs the enemies drop. So you notice they gave me a lot of red orbs for getting S rank. I forgot to mention that. Really important. But getting S rank, like I said, in Devil May Cry 1 is so easy. But technically in this game, it's easy too if you understand the formula. Exactly how it works. So how, how close is the first one, Monkey? Is it even on this level? Do 
Your first secret is in the sewer by the god statue. Swim to Dante. Interact with the sewer grating. Okay, I'll see if I pay attention to the sewers. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm addicted to Tekken right now, guys. But that's good, though. Some Tekken and some... Oh, there's a blue orb right here, too, Bunky. Tekken and Street Fighter, baby. This this grading? Let's see what our devil trigger looks like. Whoa. Homing dagger is cool. She turns into a bird. Homing's good. That means we can evade. I wonder what our other weapons are, though, if she gets the daggers as our starting weapon. Oh, you bish. Nice. Okay, first I want to tell you guys my stupid story today. It's a really dumb story. Alright, so today I woke up to a violent sound of boom- of thumping. Like, bam, 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 bam. And I woke up, I was like, ah, ah, and I was delirious, and it was like, I only slept four hours. I looked at my clock, and it was only four hours. And I was like, what has happened? This banging noise. And it sounded like, I don't know, there's like some machine in my hallway. And I realized it was the washer machine. And someone was washing their their blanket and it got caught on the washer thing and the, and, wa and the washer machine started banging around uh, the door. Because our, our laundry room has like a door, it's like a little room, right? So I had to pause it and like make sure it was untangled or whatever. No damage was done or anything like to the door or the wall. I checked with a flashlight, but it woke me up. So I was like up today. But I felt pretty good, like I didn't feel like going back to sleep even after sleeping four hours. So I was like, oh, okay. At least my sleep pattern is fixed now, right? And then, uh, I was like, wow, I got all this extra time. You know what I mean? Like usually when I wake up, guys, I'm late for the stream. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, I gotta start the stream. My day starts. That's, that's like the, the best for life, right? There's just no time. So I'm like, man, I, what do I got to do right now? I'm like, should I play games or what, right? So I was like, oh, you know what I'll do? I'll vacuum. I felt like vacuuming, right? <laughs> yeah, the early shit. <laughs> so I I start to vacuum and I'm like being really thorough. Uh, on, it's just my stairs has rug, like everything else is uh, is is like laminate, right? So uh, I'm just vacuuming the stairs. But when I vacuum the stairs, I got like this this uh, vacuum that I got off Amazon. It's like a no-name vacuum that I got uh, before we moved. Uh, Cause there was like no rug in my old place. And uh, a long time ago, Willie was like, you know, don't get these vacuum. You need to get like a Dyson. Like Willie was, cause Willie, Willie has a Dyson vacuum from a long time ago. And uh, Willie was always like, you gotta buy nice or you're gonna buy it twice. Like that's like Willie's saying he always tells me. You gotta buy nice or you gotta buy it twice. And I read this Amazon review, it was like a 5 star review, and it was a recommended, you know those re Amazon recommended reviewers? And he's like, this is Dyson grade and all that, and Willie's like, this guy does no idea what he's talking about, don't get this vacuum. So I didn't listen to Willie, and I bought the vacuum anyways, because it was cheap. Anyways, uh, fast forward to today, now you guys have an idea of the vacuum I bought. So I'm vacuuming the stairs, and I noticed when I first bought this vacuum, it doesn't really have good suction unless you take the stem and put it exactly upright. So I'm vacuuming like I'm sweeping. So I'm trying to imagine Vesper like with the vacuum straight up like this, going down, and I'm like this. This is how I vacuum my stairs, like this. Like I'm, I'm stirring a, a fucking cauldron, okay, of stew, and I'm... <laughs> Um, I don't mind. It's not a big deal. It's not like uncomfortable or anything. It's just the way I like to vacuum, right? Of course, Willie's watching me vacuum in this most ridiculous way, right? Anyways. 
So I'm vacuuming early today, and I'm like, you know, just humming to myself, and then all of a sudden, snap! I ripped the vacuum right off the stupid stem, and it's broken. I broke my vacuum. And then Willie looked at me, and yeah. I'm like, I broke the vacuum. And then I'm like thinking in my head, I'm like, don't say it. Don't say it. And Willie's like, buy nice. <laughs> It's time to bite twice. And I got fucked. So yeah. Willie was- that's why Willie came into the room before the stream, because he was like... Looking for, uh, vacuums for me to buy now. So I gotta buy a- a, a brand name vacuum. Yeah. And that's my story. Willie is always <laughs> Something tells me, like, I was at sleep- I was asleep and, like, Willie, like, Woke up in the middle of the night and sabotaged the vacuum and broke it to prove his point. The sub money is gonna go to that vacuum. I don't wanna buy like a thousand dollar vacuum. Like thousand dollars is like video card territory, you know? Or CPU territory. That's how I like weigh the cost of something. Whenever there's like furniture or something for the house to buy, I'm always like, how many CPUs can I buy for this? You know, you guys do the same thing or do you guys do it like how many PS5s can I buy with this? You know, that's how I weigh the cost of things. Is there any more items in this level, Bunky? Next, just after that one arch that you double jump with Dante, there's an uh, orb hidden up the wall with a face. Double arch that I jump with- Oh, I know, ready right to start the level. I know what you're talking about. I measure Jack in the Box and talk box tacos. That's a good idea. Yep, that is the life of Vespa. Man, these enemies are actually kind of dangerous. What the hell? <clears throat> you know what? This game isn't that bad. It, it's not that bad. But I am willing to admit, though, like, I, I think it's pretty fun. There's a lot of replay stuff in here, too, that you can do. You know, like DMC1. Plus the bloody palace that we haven't seen yet. But, I will say, if this game was not called Devil May Cry 2, I think this game would got would have gone SHIT ON! Like, no one would play this game, or even hear about it, if it wasn't called Devil May Cry 2. Let's be real. Sometimes we make exceptions, right? Just like Metroid 2, right? No one would play that too if it wasn't called Metroid. We gotta be real with ourselves. I'm gonna get this orb. How many orbs is possible? We already got 2,000 orbs, not bad. And officially- What is wrong with you guys? My god, Slim. I played Tekken for one day, and I'm playing some Devil May Cry 2, and all of a sudden, Ed's dead this, dead that. Come on, guys. I can't play some retro? Oh! Ah! Jeez! <laughs> you hit him in the butt with the, the sewer lid. Oh, what? Oh, 
That's for deleted Aki from season pass. And I'm very, um, I was pissed Vesper was playing best girl without me. Who? Oscar? You like Oscar? Yeah, where were you yesterday, Slim? Usually you're here every single day. Did you lose your streamer, uh, stream watching streak? I know you guys are hardcore about that. Who was it that came in the chat? Someone was like, hey, I'm here just to keep the streak and they left. Oh, you came near the end, right. Man, you guys are nuts about that shit. Wait, what? I'm fighting the golems already? Was he? I don't think it was you, Micro. Oh, what the hell? Seems like Stinger and the launch are like the most efficient. <laughs> yeah, this is that archway that uh, Bunky was talking about. So what am I looking at? I don't see your post anymore, Bunky. Yeah, the, the combat's definitely janky. Oh, there's a blue orb up there. There's a weird hit stop, too, on every single thingy. Like I said, this game is pretty much, like, worse than DMC1 in, in almost every single way. But there are some things that are better, like... Like, uh, like I said, Mission Select is cool, even though it's not really a gameplay thing. I think Dante's design looks amazing. Like, his jacket and how he looks is really cool. Uh, I like, I kind of like does the dodge button. I think the dodge button is good. Just gets you, uh, gets you better over the dealing with the camera. I think the camera is overall better. Wow, what a secret. What a secret. Like, you can see it, but getting to it is crazy. I think playing, having two discs and two characters is cool. Uh, I think the... Amulet DT customization is pretty cool too. Alright, we're I think we're good. We're good starting. I think the wall running stuff is cool. I think some of the animations look really good. As well. So this is like I said, the starting where Dante was. But I don't think the game is so horrible that like it's a it's a must skip or something like that, you know. Okay, do I create a save point, Bunky? I'm assuming I do, right? Guess we're saving twice. Save nice, or save twice. I missed this secret already? Oh no, I didn't know there was another secret. Damn, we missed a secret already? <laughs> Damn. That sucks. Alright, we're gonna have to go back to the first level. Damn. Holy cow. Alright, for now on, we'll have, we're gonna have a secret handshake, okay? For now on, unless you say in all caps, no more secrets or something along those lines, I will assume there are still secrets before I exit the level. Even though I didn't know that was the end of the level, too. Mm. Alright, let's keep going. I, it wasn't a weapon or something, was it? As long as it wasn't a weapon. It was just a blue orb, right? It was, like, if it was a weapon, then we should restart. But if it's an orb, then fine. We'll keep going. Weapon is like... It's just a room? Okay. No problem. The aerial heart will give the protector the chance to reach the skies. 
Uh, arsenal. So is uh, Lucia's daggers the equivalent of guns? Like, are, are, is that going to be the most damaging way we hurt bosses? Just like Dante? 5,000. I missed the rifle. Hey, it's not Silent Hill, Chew. Wrong game. It's her pistols. Spoilers. Unless you meant, like, it's the equivalent of pistols. Alright. You know, Uzi equivalent. Full DT, eh? Okay, um... Oh shit, big fight already? Okay, let me explain to you guys, after this fight... The DMD situation. You guys can decide if we're gonna play it or not. But I'm leaning on playing it. It's just really weird. <laughs> oh no! Oh shit, he hit me? Oh, I jumped. I screwed up. Just from jumping, my the grading went down. Man, that's so whack. We want as many orbs as we can. Okay, what do we get? Hopefully fire. Could be lightning. Okay, what does she do? Does she scream? <gasps> Smiley face? Oh, sick. Mm -mm. Oh, we got flying already? So there actually is a difference besides the elemental guys when it comes to the <clears throat> different DT types. The lightning one uh, makes it has a wider range and fast a shooting speed. The fire one has, uh, I think it was a bigger hitbox and it overall does more damage because of it. And the frost one does slow down enemies. Damn, that, the wall run took away the grade two? Where are the enemies? Look, um, look, look guys, the bingo. The bingo's not going down, look at this. <laughs> look at this, the bingo! Slowly fading. My god, dude, this game. Kino. There's a weapon in this mission? Okay, thanks for the heads up. Okay, so let me explain the, the uh, Dante Must Die situation. So, uh, to get unlocked Dante Must Die, we have to beat the game up with Lucia and Dante, which we're doing right now, and then it will unlock hard mode. And then we have to beat hard mode, I think, with both the characters, and then you'll finally get uh, Dante Must Die. That's not a big deal because we could just grab a save file. But the Dante Must Die is so jank in this game, guys. I looked up a run uh, where uh, someone gets all S rank, and that's not something we, we did with Devil May Cry 1. We just beat it on a fresh file, right? To do S rank, it's impossible without using items. The game wasn't designed well to get S rank on all missions on Dante Must Die. It's like impossible without items. Because there's like certain missions that are just boss fights, and there's literally not enough orbs you can get. So it's like <laughs> really jank. On top of that, there's no, like, option to, uh, play Dante Must Die on a fresh file. That's another issue. You're, you're pretty much stuck with the, the fi file, but there is a way to do it on a fresh file, but to do it is jank. One way you can do it is do everything I just mentioned, being the game on normal, hard, or whatever, without grabbing a single power-up. Manually make a save file. So then when you unlock the mode, you have nothing. That's one way to do it. Obviously not worth the time or the effort to do. The other method... Oh, nice. We got another item. 
Short swords with its narrow shape, multiple swords can be thrown at once. Darts. Cool, let's try it out. Uh, oh, arsenal. So this is like the Uzi equivalent. Oh, this is like a shotgun. This is like the shotgun equivalent, I think. Oh, I wanted to do the spinning bird kick. Oh, easier said than done. So there is another way to two, I, I found out. So another thing we can do is input three cheat codes in a very specific order to unlock a fresh uh, file with DMD. But once again, I have to really make this clear. DMD on this game is very jank. <laughs> like, wait, what happened? Oh, I fell down. Oops. Uh, it's not, it's not super hard. It's not as hard as DMC one. Obviously, because of the guns, but it's jank. Definitely jank. You, you'll see me shooting through the whole thing, pretty much. So, pretty much I gotta decide if I wanna do it or not. I kinda do wanna do it because, uh... You know, we did it with, with uh, DMC1, and it's kind of like a tradition I wanna have. But at the same time, I don't know how much Devil May Cry 2 you guys might actually wanna watch me play before you guys start yelling at me, right? So, I don't know. We could figure it out. Like, we could go straight to DMC3 as well, because I'm sure that's like the GOAT game you guys want to watch me play, and rather watch me play DMD in that, so... Whatever you guys want to do, I'm just kind of letting you know what you're going to be in for if we continue that tradition. I kind of want to play Metal Gear Revengeance again, because that's another crazy action game, and I listen to the soundtrack, and... And that's another game that can help me with action games too, you know? That has a hard difficulty as well. I kind of want to focus on playing games that I haven't played before. When our, our retro time is short right now, right? Since we already played Revengeance. DMC2 DNA, that's how people will remember your name. So if I do do it, do you guys want me to do it with Dante and Lucia? <laughs> Or double the shooting. Oh, there's something super important I forgot to- I found out about this game that I didn't know. Okay, so you know how I had problems hitting those switches when there's enemies around because they always focus on the switches? I found out in this game, if you hold R2, it disables lock-on. Extremely important to know. Especially on boss fights, so... Big. That's big, guys. I wish I knew that with the Dante playthrough. That's why R2 doesn't, like, do anything. No, I've never played Bayonetta before. This is a new level, by the way, this, uh... This church? You never went here with Dante. There's one more excuse to play it again? Yeah, what's that? Actually, maybe don't spoil. Oops. Maybe you can spoil it when we finish the game. How about that? It requires beating hard. Like I said, we can just grab a save file, Bunky. No biggie. Dude, that, uh, Majin Devil Trigger thing. So hard to do. I would assume speedrunners have to rely on that, too, to beat the game fast.
Man, I'm getting Castlevania vibes in here, man. Like Harpies and Clock Tower. Is there a secret coming up here, Bunky? Oh, nice to heal. How's everyone's Friday doing? You guys hyped for the pipe for the weekend? Oh, what the hell? Oh, this boss already? Oh, whoops. I, was, I got used to the DMC1 controls for a second. Am My movement speed feels faster. It could be placebo, though. See, the good thing with this frost amulet, see the boss, he literally freezes. Wow, that did a lot of damage. One, two, then stick attack is really good in DT. Okay. I think that's what I was doing. One, two. Ooh, a new weapon already. I feel like we're getting gear much faster. I, I, I know this is shorter, so maybe that's why we're getting the gear faster. There's less missions. Found a toothpick. I need a toothpick to clean my PS5 controller. I told you guys I cleaned it right during the whole Capcom Cup thing. But instead of a toothpick, I, I grabbed uh, pieces of uh, my my Zevia cardboard box and I just cleaned it with cardboard, like thin cardboard. It's good. Okay, blue orb to the side here and weapon. Arcana Spada, one of the holy relics that were once used to seal a great demon. So hopefully this is like the stronger weapon. Um, let's equip this bad boy. What? Huh? Oh, it's a key item. Oh, disappointing. No more secrets. Roger that. Heading out. Returning the base. This is where Dante jumped off, like, 100 stories and landed on his feet, and not turned into a pancake. I'm so pumped for Summer Game Fest, guys. Can't wait for another Resident Evil. Alright, what kind of grading do we get here? B, baby. Sick. Dun, 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 dun. Oops, I should probably should have taken my break actually. Oh, now we're at the part. Okay. I thought this is where she started off right in this cutscene. Winky face.
I wonder if you'd be confused starting on disc two first. Where's Mathieu? 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 Mathieu. Good grief. They really made a big mess, didn't they? Who's they? <sighs> it sure took him a while to find this place. Oh, you have arrived, son of Sparta. So who's this old lady? You knew him? Oh yes. We yeah, she speaks more than Dante. This land, Vidumali. Our clan once fought against the demons with Sparta, son okay. of Sparta. We must ask this favor of you. You see, there's a man who's transformed our land into a demon's paradise. His name is Arius. And although he is Best voice the actor in the game of an international public corporation. This story is wild, guys. The demon power. Please deal with Arius and his master for us. <laughs> Do this coin Looks flipping. Like it's your lucky day. Why didn't they just have uh, Trish in this game play as her rather than uh, Lucia? It makes no sense. If you are successful, I will tell you a story about your father, son of Sparta. Did you obtain the other arcana? Oh, this is new cutscene. Here is the bastone. Now we have only one piece remaining. I believe that it is in the ruin. I know. Weird. Oh, is it sewer time? Okay, so like, the story in this game is... There is this secret, sacred land somewhere where the hell are we are we in like italy or something some secret island of course and there were guardians that fought with sparta and some dude looking for dynamic relics that are happened to be here started a corporation in a place where nobody lives and he's he's trying to get demonic power and dante somehow arrives and they need his help and I don't know what da Dante is going after this Arias guy while Lucia is grabbing the relic items. And that's pretty much the story. Like, no jokes. It's like plot hole city. And this game takes place like years after DMC 1. And Bunky says they retconned like the order of the games. It makes sense if you don't think about it. Yeah, it's just. It's weird. How much uh, power up money do we have? It's like 10k almost, right? Swords. Bunky, which like which weapon, which dagger should we upgrade? Like I'm sure there's gonna be like a shotgun equivalent, a, a rock launcher equivalent. Like, should I just upgrade the throwing daggers? I'm assuming those are gonna be the ones. Let's we'll see what the Uzi one is before we start going crazy here. And of course, DT is super important. We can already get our first purple orb. We should probably do that. Don't do the darts. Darts is the shotgun equivalent, right? I'm doing purple orb first. Well, when you're in Devil Trigger, it's it's always gonna be the same weapon anyways, right? So it doesn't really we basically want the most efficient weapon at building DT. You know? Okay, is there a secret if I backtrack here? You know, oldest trick in the book. Yo, did you guys hear there was like some new uh, anime fighting game they're working on? The Hunter x Hunter or something? Some collaboration? Dude, Naruto or bust. What? I missed the start of DMC too. See you guys? See the passion? The love for this game? That's what I'm talking about, man. People jones for it. 
Yeah, don't worry, you didn't miss out on much, bro. Just getting used to uh, playing Lucia instead. What we got here? Damn, I lost my grade. Damn it, I didn't mean to jump off the wall. I'm having problems doing the air combo. Enter a big door when you go fight the ape boss. Enter a big door. Fight ape boss. Big door. Wait, these guys just respawned all of a sudden? And we fight Winston. Oh, this is the same exact thing happened with Dante. This, I think this is the big door bunk he's talking about. Go to go into this door, Bunky? Is that what you're saying? Wait, this can't be a secret. Oh, right here. Or right here. Did you guys see the trailer for that new Ghostbusters movie? Holy shit, Bill Murray looks so fucking old, dude. He's like a skeleton. Yeah, Miker. Dude, he looks like... Bro, he like... Yeah, well, I mean, first off, he always looks miserable. Even when he was young, okay, he looked miserable as fuck, but... Like, dude, he looks like he's like... I don't know, like... <laughs> he's more machine than man to still be functioning, like... I can't do air calls with her, like, she never does, like... The enemy always falls before she does her attack. I'm just gonna stop launching with them. Uh, it's the door after the one that had the red orb in front of it. Oh, I gotta backtrack? Okay. Did we ever figure out why this game has blue blood yet? Don't lose my C rank, I'm coming! I'm coming, guys! Hold on! Keep my C rank! Almost there! No! Yeah, exactly. He might turn into a ghost himself. I haven't seen that. Uh, what's it called? The the one before it, the one where they actually would actually was a good movie. Apparently, the one with the kids and Bill Murray. God.
Oh, it won't let me backtrack, Bunky. Yeah, it won't let me backtrack. I don't remember what it was called. Backtrack down the alley? Oh, I went to the wrong door? Yeah, Afterlife, I think it was called. I did go through the wrong door? Okay, roger that. Nice. So it was the door after this. It automatically made me go through it. Oh, it's a weapon. Claymore, spelt in the weirdest way possible. Swords for Lucia that have wide range. Mm -mm -mm. Is this the low damage equivalent? Yeah, same attacks again. See, that's another like big flaw of this game is like, they didn't make the weapons do different things. Very weird. Like, even the, the, the guns did different things, which is, you know, funny because, you know, it's a game all about using your guns. Okay, we're good, Bunky, right? Continue on. No if for you, man. I mean, the guns for Dante are pretty cool. Who says air combo is hold a direction attack, no lock on? Okay, I'll try it. Oh yeah, there we go. It's the opposite. It's the opposite of Dante. Dante, I, I had to hold the lock on. Otherwise I did Helmbreaker by accident. Okay, let's get out of here. Do I break this? See so guys, I hold R2, I stop the lock on. This this attack is cool, but it's not nearly as cool as Dante's R99 dual R9 magic fingers. Way cooler. Damn it, dude. It's close to getting S there. The enemies aren't even attacking. You noticed? <laughs> yep. Oh, nice. No secret here this time in the garage. Next is up a cliff. This cliff? I'm not sure how long after DMC3 came out, but I've heard that this game gave the original team motivation. They saw this game and I'm like, I'm motivated. Just like how the, the, the NES version of Metal Gear 1 motivated Kojima. He saw that and I'm like, he's like, hell no. It's up here, Bunky? On this side of the cliff? After the barricade. Which barricade?
past this door? Yeah, but I don't know what spot that is, Bunky. That's why I'm asking. Okay, let me see if I can backtrack here. Damn, I'm having a hard time keeping my grade up. Seems harder with her. Dante is like launch stinger like crazy. She feels like doing the normal like joystick tilting combos, like make the grade go up less. It's like the launcher and stinger are always the best ones. There's a secret in here. Oh, right here. Look how long it took just to get the D ranking. Showtime, baby. Oh, man, getting rid of the DT also? Whoa. I like how it hits multiple enemies at once. That's cool. Yo, what's up, Mir? Is this the famous shoot em up? Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, by the way, Mir, do you know what uh, ancient weapon this is? It's called uh, a claymore. You guys, you've ever heard of this one before? A claymore? K L Y A M O O R. That's the weapon I'm using right now. It's not spelled that way, are you sure? Are you ready? Okay, where you, now where where is this thing? Here's debris here. I'm hugging like this this left side. The debris wall I destroyed to access this area. Oh, way back. Okay. Claymore just means sword, by the way. So does Gladius. Hype train. Woohoo. Thanks, Mir and James. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for the subs. Okay, here's where the debris was, Bunky. So where? Oh, left wall? Okay. Ooh, that's cool. Finally hit a spot there.
DMC2 is originally supposed to have a, a completely diff uh, new pro protagonist, not Dante. Oh, really? What do you think about the longevity of a series by having it be a mythology like the Final Fantasy series or Zelda? I think that'd be cool. That's not a bad idea. It's hard to make a cooler character than Dante, though. Oh, I see it now, Bunky. Thanks. I got it. Dante's is really funny because he's like so powerful. Like, is like the the intro to DMC one like sets the tone so well, you know. Like, <laughs> Trish breaks in, rides a motorcycle right through his front door, and he's like, "Whoa!" <laughs> like he doesn't even care. And then he gets impaled by a sword, and. Shoots a motorcycle off of him while, like, you know, talking shit with a sword impaled right through his chest and he rips it out. Like, that is the best intro ever. So it's really hard to top that. This has got to be the, the speed up one. Woo! Bam. Wait, healing? I'm not going through that gate? Damn. Got bamboozled. Healing will be good for the start though, but I want that Dimaggio one. So I uh, backtrack now? It's kind of weird. Don't enter the door, okay. Copy that. DMC has Kino combos. Yeah, the, the the combat system, I remember when I played it, was pretty intuitive. Like, one was like Hell Stance, the other one was like Heaven Stance. Uh, but don't enter the door. And head up the stairs. Check the right side up here. Uh, I, I remember having fun playing it. I, I wish I we did actually stream it uh, when we played it, by the way, guys. This was ancient, long time ago, before I was like even big on streaming. Like when it first came out, I streamed it and Qua was the first one to play it. And you guys. I wish you guys were there. There was only like, ten, like maybe ten people in the chat at the time, so long ago, and it was Qua's reaction, guys, to like Dante in that trailer when he's like floating around naked with that pizza slice. Guys, I am talking like I had to. I they had to call like an ambulance. I was laughing so hard, guys. Like I'm talking full on painful belly laughs, like. Seeing Qua's reaction to scene ruining his like favorite hero and franchise and like the the cutscene was so ridiculous. I was la I was in full tears like man I haven't laughed that hard in so long guys. It was insane bro. Like I lost my voice, I laughed so hard. Qua like he like took off his headphones and he sighed and he was just like he was so salty. It was so salty. 
It was so funny. Yeah, that was before even like the OBS days. Bunky, where's this item? You said it's up the stairs. Or did I grab it and not realize it? Did I just grab the item and not realize it? Oh, examine the wall. Oh my god, that's a hard one. Wow, okay, that's a really tough secret. Even when he told me where it was, I couldn't find it. Jesus. That one was tough. It wasn't even like the it funky. It wasn't even examining like where a door could have been against the wall. It was against the ledge, like leading nowhere. Like that's that's rough. Yeah, it wasn't 60 FPS, which was like, dude, like, any any mistake they made, man, the, the DNC community was, like, so spiteful, and they took every piece of ammunition they could make to to hurt that game, dude. That The, the problem was, like, it... My God, dude. It's just that the, 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 the director of the game for Ninja Theory was, like, he... He was definitely not uh, family friendly, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was being spiteful about it. Like, the, the not in a million years, and he was just saying, like, fuck him, you know, like, to the fans and shit. It was like, it was bad, you know? Like, he made it worse, basically. He was not PR about it. No, no, no. See, right here, this boss, this is another one where, like, you need to know about R2. R2 makes it so you don't target uh, the tentacles, right? So you're always attacking the, the main target here. I gotta, I gotta unequip the, the, the flight. Oh, you can't. Damn it. Cause I wanna, I wanna stand on the ground and attack through my ground combos, you know? This builds a lot of DT. They definitely want you to melee these. It's kind of like the opposite of DMC. Like, the melee builds the DT and the... You use the guns to uh, mainly attack. It's so weird, dude. Oh shit, I'm getting drained. Damn it. It did the defensive poison right away. Okay, good. I didn't lose too much DT, though. Nice. I got. Um, they didn't fly this time. What? I'm holding R2, though. Oh, shit. I hate how short the window is to attack on this one.
Oh, damn, he did the cloud. Once that cloud disappears, I'm going in. Oh! Oh my god, dude. Man, I died? This is the, like the only boss I died to on the Dante playthrough and it looks like I'm gonna die again. Am I hitting the right target? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing enough deeps. I need more deeps. It could be also be the fact that I'm using the ice weapon maybe too. Okay, after it, it goes, like, down in, I have to dodge out. Am I getting hit? Yeah, I am. Okay, two hits. Wow. I can't see. And if you attack it for too long and just like try to fight through the poison, it'll it'll do that stupid dome move. Ouch. Fudge. Look at this boss. This boss looks cool. This, the fight is whack. Hurry, hurry, hurry. No. Oh. Maybe? Yeah. We're good. Oh. Yes. D and D is worse, yeah. But by the time I get the D and D, like I don't know exactly how to play the game. The min max everything. And plus, it will be super powerful unless you guys want to do D and D on a fresh file. I'll do the the cheat code method. What? I can't get that orb? What the hell? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yo, what's up, Gambit? This game gave me the best nap. I can't nap through Kino. Nice. Oh, we got 15k orbs. Wow. Dodge flame tubes and navigate through the cracked city streets so that when the time comes, your path will be shown. Okie dokie. Alright, let's upgrade another purple orb. I'm gonna switch my swords again too, in case that's the weaker sword. Need to find the Dimaggio sword. The cut, the cutlass. And we're using the throwing daggers, right? Back to default. There we go. First secret, as soon as the mission starts, look over to the ledge and the orb is hovering in the air. Right. That was an easy one. Infestin, are these are these enemies new? No, no, we fought these guys. Oh, 
No, what? How did I lose it? I guess because I whiffed the buttons. Well, don't forget, guys, that was during the time where uh, Capcom was... It was kind of Inafuni that started that shit. He really wanted the Western influence on a bunch of games. That's when they tried a bunch of things, like... Uh, Bionic Commando. And... Uh, you know, Dead Rising 4, and... I forgot what that other game was called. Um, what was that other game? What was it called, man? Capcom game, but... They tried it a bunch, is what I'm saying. Are you ready? So we fight him in this, not in that uh, subway area now, now we fight him in the streets uh, first. In those orbs. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if that's what you guys are talking about, Mira, but like he was being a dick in like interviews and like throwing it in the fans' faces and like. Like I said, no, I don't care how much he denies it, dude. He made that character try to look like himself. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. You do a side by side with his hair and the way he made Dante or Nante look, it was fucking identical. That guy was on a crazy power trip, bro. Go back to the tunnel. I thought the white uh, wig thing was funny too, but nonetheless, it was there for a reason, right? <laughs> oh, right here. Is there a switch or something, Punky? Or do I have to clear these enemies? See how many orbs I get? Like if I have S rank? No, 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 no! <sighs> Switch targets. No, I lost my orbs. Feels bad, man. Oh, it was a clear. Weird. All right, damage, please, or something to get rid of the flight, like the speed one. <laughs> nice offense. Good shit. Yeah, definitely want that one. We're done? Done the mission or all clear just for the area? Oh, wow.
I think I think it was a uh, middle finger because didn't he outright say like fuck him like there he was interviewed and was like what about the people that are giving me negativity or blah 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 and he said like fuck him or something didn't he straight up say that like in words I, I wish Qua was here Qua would Qua would have everything in like a binder ready to rock and roll with evidence he'd be like let me open up my DMC. Hating binder with evidence here. Am I, what guys? Am I losing my mind? Am I not walking down into the tunnel? Or I guess I'm leaving to another entrance of the tunnel. What the hell? Did that game sell well? I believe. DMC4 sold better. The the re-release of DMC4. Because the fans got it out to spite them or some shit. The HD version or whatever. Where's Qua? I need him. Yo, what's up, Sword? Why would we play this? Well, we're not done. There's two uh two playthroughs, bro. Two characters, different missions. Tank fighting time. Are you ready? Me playing this as an F you to the chat? <laughs> what? No way! I asked you guys, would you want me to play through the DMC series? And you guys were like, hell yeah! So what did you guys think that meant? Don't even try to pin this on me. And I'm having fun. Dude. Any vacation time from getting jumped in on with Ed is fine by me. And like I said, you guys talk a lot of shit, but you've never played Rayman. You don't know how bad games can be, bro. You know, dude, you know what's funny? There I, there was somebody, like, retro-streaming when we were done playing DMC 2, and they were playing Rayman. And I was watching carefully, watching the way for the salt. And sure as shit, he was on that level at the cave, and a boulder spawned out of nowhere, knocked him off, and he fell down a pit, and he's like... <sighs> And I was like, <laughs> like that. That game is so stupid. Oh, we only have to fight one tank? Mm -hmm. We got a pretty good grade there. We just got to see on clear time because, you know. Yo, Merc, thanks for the three months. Guys, thanks for all the subs today. Appreciate it. I hope everyone's having a kick-ass Friday. Yeah, we got some tournaments coming up next week. It's gonna be hype. Excelente. The Protector must rise to confront destiny head-on. Oh, damn, we're already in the factory? Cool, cool, cool. I think maybe we should play DMD mode, but we play it with all the content we unlocked. And not do a fresh file. I think it's just gonna be come down to just shooting guns. But I'll do more I'll do more research to make sure what I'm getting myself into. Let's we'll see. If it's like challenging but not in a dumb way, then we can do it. DMD S rank? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Like I told you guys, uh There is there is no speed run for it. 
so you guys are aware. It's not speedrunnable. And I told you, it's it's literally broken. Um, to where you're forced to, uh, uh, use items. When I say use items, I'm talking like you refill your DT, like, four times in one boss fight. Like, that broken. Should I kill him? The three head boss is trash in DD. Yeah, trash can be fine. As long as it's not the whole run. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with our DMD run for Devil May Cry 1. Very happy with it. That was really fun. I know DMC 3 will be a very special game, so that one we can do something exciting for too. We'll have to do it for every single game we play. We only save those for the super fun ones. Switch version? I mean, we'll see. I will, I'll talk to you about it later and we'll we'll break it down. So as long as it doesn't interfere with the authenticity of the original. Wait. Wait, where am I going? Do I go through that door? Where's the diesel drip? Yeah, we unlocked it for Dante, but not Lucia. Uh, accidentally doing the Helm Breaker. I'm trying to un- Maybe it's to hold R2, maybe that's the best way to do it. Yeah, as soon as I, I launch him, hold on. Maybe I do hold the lock on. What is this? Cranky bomb. Compact bombs could either be set or thrown. That's interesting. Set or thrown. Oh wait, I could just press L2, I keep forgetting. Okay, that took a very long time. Must do a lot of damage. Can I? Oh, you can't throw him very far. Here. Oh, this is a new room. So it's gonna turn on the fan. So now we know who's the one who did this when Dante got here.
Does it want us to backtrack all the way? We're back to the start of the level. I was Did I miss something? I know last time Dante went through the grating where the fan was. When the fan stopped or whatever. Oh, the garage door. Here. Okay, thanks. That was a little confusing. What the hell? I got a free amulet? Evil heart? A demon stone that will absorb the possessor's power. What? This is new. Wait, it's another key item? Yeah, it is. Why is my heart evil? I don't even know what the hell that thing is. Oh, it's draining my health. Oh shit! It's a, it's like the the sun from DMC one. They wanted to add some variety on this. Okay, Bunky said it was in the corner of the room. Look around the corners of this room. Do oh, I see a yellow orb? Oh, right here. That was a good camera angle. This is what you were talking about. Yeah? Okay, cool. Let's keep going. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, MGS angle. That's a good way to put it. My health is still draining. This is a good way to get the, the Majin DT. Ooh, another amulet at the top. Same thing like Dante. Those little explodey guys here? Oh, they are. I'm trying to hit it. Alright. Alright, my health is draining. Clean that damn orb. Can she enter Majin State? I don't know. I would I would imagine so. Wow, that lit me up. That lit me up good. Well, time to go into to Majin now. Get these ores before I die. I have to activate. I have to. Oh, it's refilling. I had to camp here for a little bit. It actually didn't go into Majin, by the way. That's Dante exclusive? That's the lore, guys. That's canon. <laughs> oh, I should have uh, equipped the healing one at the same time. Nice, we got flame now, too. It's good. More deeps. And automatically equipped it. Uh, come on. Let me grab the healing and fire. So we get some of our health back here. Oh yeah, it's really climbing now. Oh yeah.
You know, this reminds me guys, this reminds me of Castlevania, bro. I forgot which one it was. I think it was Circle of the Moon. It was like the main way we healed in that game. It was like the hardest Castlevania, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, look how much health we're getting back. This is bumping. Nice. Refill that. All right. Now let's uh, equip the fire back, or the offense back, for maximum deeps. Uh, the men of innocence. That's the second one, right? On the on the advance. Wait, where was the door? Or uh, the men of innocence was the first PS2 game. There's Harmony of Dissonance. I think that was the second one. <laughs> the names are so weird. Lament of Innocence. I'm pretty sure that's the first PS2 game. Yeah, we played it. It was Kino. It had an amazing soundtrack on the lab area. Hey, there's no lava here. And it was it was like a DMC ripoff game. That game was funny, bro. I can't wait to play the second PS2 game. Alright, which door first, Bunky? The door is closed tight. I guess we're going down this one. Head to the lava room, place the heart, then go back out of the lava room, then check the wall that had that railing hidden room. Place the heart. Check. There's that lab thing. You have inlaid the evil heart in the hollow. The evil heart is gonna make lava? Wait, we got another amulet for this? Man, we were gaining so many upgrades so quickly. It's like non-stop. Um, oh, nice. We got the lightning orb. Still gonna keep the fire, though. Check the wall that had that railing hidden room. Check the wall. Did he equip the lightning? It did. Back to fire. Fire. Offense. Oh, did I go through the wrong way? Yeah, I did. I want to backtrack. This one. Okay. Go back on the railing. The door is still closed tight. Railing. Check the wall. Railing. Down the stairs? Oh, down the stairs. Oh, there's something on the floor there. What the hell? Wasn't there? Am I tripping out? It was a bat I knocked down. Down the stairs. Check the wall. Railing. Waiting for their instructions. Hug the railing to the right of the lava, but not the stairs. Hug the railing to the right of the lava, but not the stairs. Oh, nice. Yeah. Next time mention it, it's on the on the floor. 
That would have really narrowed it down for me. Oh shit. Well, I know where we are now. Oh yeah, the fire the fire seems like really good for deeps. Showtime for that. Oh yeah, juicy orbs. Doesn't she have dive kicks? Uh, not that I know of. She's got a spinning bird kick. It's kind of cool. Knocks the enemies too far away from her though. Remember that hidden room in the left door after the elevator ride, Dante? This time it's the right door. I don't remember, but we'll see. After the elevator ride. Chicken legs? Dim sum legs? Chicken feet? Did somebody say dim sum? Chicken strips? There's just no enemies attacking me while I'm doing this. Is the orb here, Bunky, or after the elevator? Chicken break? Oh, God. Okay, so it's this door you're talking about, right? Lucia dive kick is air stinger very low to the ground. But it's, so it's not it's not the spinning bird kick. It's something else. Cuz that's the stinger. Oh my god, I almost lost it. Oh no, the feet! No, you piece of shit! I didn't want to target you, asshole! One of my orbs. Well, oh, that, that attack is cool. Showtime, baby, showtime. Showtime! 
No! No, you piece of shit! Dude, the grading system in this game. You can also throw knives. Yeah, it's, it's just like the problem is just I can't choose what I target, right? So I thought I was targeting the enemy for the stinger, but she went back and whiffed, right? And that's what got rid of the, the grade. Do instant stinger? This is this is stinger. Instant air stinger? This is instant air stinger. She does can cans. Whole lock on I was. I was. No execute? I mean, you guys got it wrong, obviously, on the input. Don't blame me. Oh, it's my boy. Heihachi. With JP's moveset. Do it faster, like TK. I like how you guys keep repeating yourselves. <laughs> it's like, do Tiger Knee. Do it instant air. Do it like a TK. You guys all said the same thing. How about you guys give me the correct input? Is it a boss fight? Because so we fight the Minotaur, right? The protector, the king, and the truth. How many orbs do we have? Still haven't upgraded our sword yet, hey? 15k? It's tempting. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, let's do it. I haven't tried the the uh, dagger attack with the fire orb, so we need to find that stronger sword, though. I feel like we're not doing enough damage like Dante did. Doria. Hmm. Well, well. It appears that the defect is back. <gasps> defect? Uh-oh. That was rude. My creation. So he just tells her that's how she knows? Mathieu is my mother. She merely found you when Whoa! you were to be disposed of. <gasps> and raised you as a soldier. What a is twist. You consider to be a mother? No. Guys, we're getting the feels. I don't believe you. Wait, the old lady was her mother? <laughs> Okay, what the hell? I didn't know that. You have the mark on your shoulder. Proof that you're a mannequin. Oh no. Kai. That is your real name. Oh no. Now, give me the arcanas. With them, my power will be complete and I will become like the immortal. When you get when you get really rich, guys, do you wear your jacket without putting your arms through the sleeves? Dude, why is this jacket like a cape? Yes. Okay, good to know. How much do you think that jacket costs? It's got to be custom made. Damn. He makes a convincing argument. Oh my god. 
Oh, we're already here now? What the hell? Oh, you bitch! Oh, at least we got good orbs. Are you ready? No! I lost my grade. Oh no, Mothra again. I better not have lost those orbs. Nice. Oh, good deeps. Ignore the slug thing. Just focus on deeps, yeah. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Did it eat me? Oh, I think it did. Shit. Oh, the air shot seems good. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got him. It goes into a super long, like, death animation. Like, why is that death animation so long? There's more? Another one? I'm not sure if I even put some mash. Yeah, they're like tremors. Kevin Bacon, though. This is not annoying at all. <laughs> Yo, so Dragoon! Happy Friday, bro! Glad you made it. Delve may cry revelations. This ability. Damn, dude. Someday All this time. <laughs> I have to go. The compassion. Devils don't cry. Three secret orbs in this area. Oh boy. Boss fight to start and then exploration.
Oh, it's health upgrade. Bam! Look how much health we have now. Do we drain the- Oh, wait, what? We're swimming? What the hell? I thought we were gonna drain the water. What the hell? We can swim! Why didn't Dante get any swimming missions? You can only use bombs in the water. Never mind. Yeah, you can only use bombs. They're depth charges. That's cool. Dante's too cool to swim? They got the cool watery effect. PS2 water effect. Fly north into a giant cave? Uh-oh. You can use the flying? Oh no! Erupt gel. Uh -oh. So fly directly above here, Bunky? Is what you're saying? I have very limited uh, DT, so we gotta make this count. Oh, pick these bombs. Head back to the bridge. Uh oh. Damn, dangerous jellyfish. DNC2 and RE6 will have swimming sections, coincidence? You mean both have Kino sections? All the best games have swimming sections and emergency escape sequences. How do we even get back up? The camera keeps changing. <laughs> There's the bridge right here. I don't even know if I can get back up, Bunky, because the staircase was broken. Oh, there's maybe a little surface over here. Oh. Yeah, Bunky, you're gonna just have to tell me where it is from here. I, I, I have to like literally fly up. Do I still have the flying one? I still do. <laughs> like, where from here, Bunky? You're talking about in this direction, right? Where I was facing? that you found the blue orb in. Yeah, right here. Ooh. 
Now I'll head right and fly across the ledge. Yeah, in this direction, right? That cave? Holy shit, really? I'm trying to... Oh, the walls? Like, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Holy shit, it's that specific corner. I was pressing it the whole time there. Man, that one's brutal. Yeah, her secret ones are way harder than Dante's. Way harder. That, that one was rough. Crazy. Yeah, I thought Bunky you were talking about the one that's like a little bit to the right here. There's like a little hole here against the wall, but I can't I can't even go past this point. Roughly where the bridge is and dive. There's a room with a weapon. Oh hell yeah, weapon. Let's go. Dive. Is there another button or something that makes me go down? Or do I just sink? Because in DMC 1, when you went in the water, uh, it was first person. We got it. Bow gun. Only for usage underwater. No! Cool. Circle? No, it doesn't do anything. Oh wait, maybe maybe it does. Yeah, it does. Look, look, look. Watch this. Watch this. Look, look. This is normal. Watch circle. Watch this. Woo! Kino. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, what's up, Jock? Hope you're having fun at work, man. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Poisonous jellyfish. Proceed to the next mission. Don't tell me what to do. Damn, we could have did this level so much faster. If it was for that stupid secret. Let me guess. You have to upgrade the... You can upgrade that underwater bow. I wonder if that'd be useless or not. Mm -mm. Holy and filthy at the same time. Some mystery, uh, mystery should be extinguished. Let's see. Oh, you can upgrade. Oh, okay, good. They make it cheaper. At least they're aware. So this is all my range weapons. That's it. Weird. Well, I guess we're gonna. I'll be upgrading the, the normal daggers. I want my power sword though. Okay, throwing daggers. We're upgrading. Oh, it's 10k. Gotta wait. Hey, more water. Cool. You know, else has water. Swimming. Tomb Raider. Blue orb left. Oh, right here. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a good secret. Wait, can I go up? Oh, yeah. 
Ooh, this is cool. Hey, at least this is different than Dante's. You know, like, we're doing something else. I love that transition to like the follow cam to like the fixed camera angle. I think that's sick. Oops. That's sick too. More underwater? Oh, nice. Amulet. Speed? Is it necessary to show this cutscene every single time? <laughs> I guess it's just because the frequency of the items we get with Lucia. It is necessary. Aqua oh, cool, heart. A magic stone with the heart of a swimming demon fish. Aqua oh, hearts. This is new from Dante as well. So. Enhances the ability to move in the water in Devil Trigger. Okay. It's kind of weird. Yeah, this is different. Bingo. That's where this game has very little pauses. Don't complain when you get cutscenes. <laughs> Jump up to a ledge in this room, a small door. <laughs> Listen, man. Like, it'd be cool if when the amulet absorbs into her, it, like, shows you an example of what, what makes the amulet cool, you know? Damn, that was it? Kino. That was sick. Kino gameplay. You guys see that shit? That was crazy. Nice. Three orbs, baby. Now we get to try out this uh, amulet. There's gonna be some combat. Camera slowly shifting. Saying, hey, something's up there. Okay, good to know. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I'm getting I'm getting sucked. Do I have to use the DT? Vesper, no. Oh no, Skelly Bros. You guys remember when we uh, fought that, that orb boss in that circle room and we bugged the game out and, like went through the wall or something? That was sick. Oh, 
Gotta hold R2. Do I take requests for games to play? Uh, kind of. I We have a suggestion box in, in the Discord. And there was enough people asking me to play a game. Uh, I'll usually check it out. It depends, though. At the very least, though, like any game you guys recommend to me, even if I don't play it on stream, I always watch it. So it's always worth mentioning. Control, yeah. That's right, you play control. It was easier before when like we were doing retro exclusively, but now it's Street Fighter 6 out. It's, it's trickier. Much trickier. Ouch. Well, I want to go through the Ninja Gaiden series. Like I said, I actually want to play through some of the NES games again. We did our uh, Ninja Gaiden 1. We, well, we played all three Ninja Gaidens, but uh, we did a legit uh, Ninja Gaiden 1 run. Kind of want to go through 2 and 3 again. Or a challenge run would be fun. Did I hit all the switches? Oh, there's one right here. Did I do it? Maybe it stopped the vacuum effect. Let's see. But yeah, Ninja got in sick. Oh, definitely didn't get rid of it. What those switches do? Yeah, I did, Quam. Well, we're on the second disc now. We're cruising through it. Did you watch the archive, Qua? There was a lot of laughs, man. Game is ass, Qua. There was some funny ass parts. Not yet? Oh, shit. You didn't see get to see my dual R9 magic fingers. Yeah, I got the, the diesel costume. Oh, yeah, I got it. I was like, whoa. It was so cool, I wore it in junior high. <laughs> I bet you did. Just like everyone dressed as Ness Keo in junior high. <laughs> Qual, did you see the, the new Capcom game, The Path of the Gods? Did you see how it was low key a tower defense game? Super hype. I was shocked. No, but it sounds horrible. I was like hype because I was like, oh, dude, it's gonna be so fun to play like online. And then it's like, it's, they are like, it's a single player experience. And I was like, no. Oh, there we go. I just didn't hit the orbs. Hmm. 
Well, it looks like they're trying to hit every single genre because we got we got Path the Goddess, and then uh, Pragmata looks like they're they're kind of DMC looking game, their action game, right? Then they have like their multiplayer game with Exo Primal, and then Monster Hunter and Resident Evil their money makers, and Street Fighter Six is like their their uh, I don't know ugly duckling game. It's just there because they feel sorry for Division B, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah, Path of the Goss, I might actually pick that up. We'll see. I got to see, like, the actual gameplay. If the tower defense stuff is fun. It'll be cool if it's, like, really hard. Like, tough tower defense, you know? They really went off the rails with it, though. That's for sure. Dun, 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 dun. Yay! All right. My badge is showing. Come on, can you guys like the badge? Go. When is the last time I wore the badge? Come on, guys. You guys need to start forgetting. This whole grudges. Speaking of which, the Catcom shows on Monday. I can't wait to watch it. See the Street Fighter announcements. Woohoo! Elephants never forget. That mission took forever. Oh no. Oh, it's a water boss? That'd be cool. Oh, it is. It's got four eyes. <clears throat> oh, what the hell? You, you can go transparent? Got camouflage. Ouch. Can I hit him? The hell? She's not aiming up. It's got some weird electric tail. Oh, I gotta manually aim for this? No lock on in the water? Ouch. Oh, it's... There we go, now I can lock on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't think I'm locking on anymore. Oh, look at the deeps! Oh, yeah! That's just my normal attack. Oh, this is a way cooler boss than the infested chopper. And she only had to fight one tank instead of three. You know, one thing about the bosses in this game, at least there's a lot of different uh, types of bosses. 
I can do see one. It was like it was the same boss three times each, and there's only like three bosses. You know what I'm saying? Killed by guns? What? No, I'm not using a gun. This is a a bow gun. At least there was gameplay in Demon C1. What are you talking about? This is gameplay, bro. Do you not see this interactive swimming section? Bad one red ore for that boss? What? Oh my god, depth perception. Oh yeah, ka -ching. B for what? Beautiful. Defeat the prisoner in the abyss and hand the hunter the mysterious vessel. Okie dokie. Uh, we can power up our daggers now. Let's do that. <laughs> You're on borrowed time. Can't say that right now, Qual. Ed player is very sensitive. Whoa, this these guys are from DMC one. Wow, DMC one reference. That's cool, and they have the same attack too, Kino. in that doorway. What doorway? You mean from the starting point? They all like respawn. This doorway? Wait, what? Coming at ya. I still need to do two sometime. Whoop. Boss, look at these red orbs. The depth perception is strong. Oh. Ooh, I like this camera angle. This is good. Reflect my power. 
Hey, this is a DMC one reference. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Oh, what? The? I can't use Steiner against it. There's not, like, any enemy where you do this claw. It's weird. Like, it's there to train you for, like, fandom and shit, but... And there's, like, the snake boss with Mundus. This is, like, unresponsive. Wait, did the water just spontaneously appear? Uh -huh. Ouch. It didn't even fill up, it just spontaneously appeared. Nice. Extra health. Is that an opening? I can't tell. Oh, what the hell? Cool, there's some orbs there. Dude, the tracking! <laughs> Lucia! Why can't she target this? Jeez. You know, am I right? You're right, you're right, Micah. Hell am I now? Oops, what on the boat? In this room there's a whole passage in the floor. Okay. Wow, look at all those bombs. I swear that death lizard sound is from Turok too. I swear it is. I'm telling you guys. I the specific enemy is those 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 yellow lizard enemies. I'm telling you. I played a lot of Turok 2 when I was a kid. Okay, uh like you said there's a passage all over to my weapon. Where the hell am I? That's a cool secret. This game's gonna make DMC3 so much better. <laughs> Savor the moment. Oh, is that a puzzle? Light a blue flame, and then the way will be open. Oh, this puzzle is really sick. Very clever puzzle. Not as challenging as the ultimate puzzle. 
how to get the opponent to stop jumping on Ed. But I love this camera angle. This one's godlike. Zelda Water Temple? Every water section is automatically Zelda Water Temple. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no! It's not parallel? No, it was one down. Yeah, a drop shadow would like easily solve it, but as far as I know, there was no drop shadow, no. Oh, there we go. Thanks. Oh, the hell? It's an ambush! Oh, what? I guess I hit, with, I hit these later. I think it's like an amulet thingy again. The Dante statue puzzle? Uh oh. Wait, are, th are these the things you break? Oh, it is. Okay. See how many hits it takes. Like four combos straight. Yeah, the other one doesn't take, doesn't respawn. Oh, it's just way slower for her. Oops, didn't do it fast enough. Okay, let's let these bad boys spawn again. We can do this. Okay. Oh, it was less- it was less than three. Go, go, go! <laughs> Okie dokie, Bunky. Nice. Ah. I love that scene in DMC1 after you fight the nightmare boss for the third time. So he's like, ah. What do we get? Oh, we got Quick Heart there. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what word choice is flight and the water one, right? Yeah, quick for sure. Keep with fire and Dimaggio. I think we got all the amulets now. Wasn't there a secret too with Dante Bunky where there's like something on the left here of the statue? This left wall. Oh, wait, this guy again? We don't get to fight that guy at the lance. 
That's a cool boss with the two doggos. Oh, good deeps. No, oh, I lost my bingo. Let's see how much these bombs do. Ouch. Here he is. So hard to use them. Oh, this is some good damage. Whoa, what the hell was that? RE4? Wait, why would she toss him there? <laughs> the chalice. Hey, it's Dante. Oh, this is when they meet up. <laughs> Did you find what you were looking for? Excuse me. Yes. Now we can stop Arius' ambition. Whatever. Whatever? You can't but say that though. Actually, I do not deserve this power. Tell Dante your real name. Bring it's 2XKO. For me. Please. I... I've got something that I need to take care of. Good old B rank. Where's her like last sword, man? Where's my sword? Any more deeps? To prove its own identity, the protector points a blade toward the decayed king. Okie dokie. It's so red. I want to fight that uh, crazy boss that comes through the tower. For a defect, you show promise. <laughs> but did you really think you could deceive me? Wait, what? Have you come back to me, Kai? 2XKO. I'm Lucia. Whoa! Don't call me Kai. Then why did you come here? Let wow, this guy is sick. He's like a super good voice actor. Seek my death. Die! <gasps> Shine. Wow, we fight him already? Cool. He's got JP's moves. He's got departure. Dude, he smokes a cigar while fighting. And he sits down on the counter. And he's got a hand cannon. See, departure. Oh no! Oh, 
Oh, where do you warp to? See, he sits down on the counter. <laughs> you lose, Kai. What? What happened? What? <laughs> okay. Kill me. <laughs> that man is going to bring me. That was Qua when he played this game. You will live to see that. <laughs> this guy's so sick. That's just a piece of crap. <laughs> I don't- I still don't understand how Dante switched this coin. Here's another three for you. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> Crap like that doesn't interest me. But... Your swan song will. <laughs> Dante's so cool. You cannot win. Someone is holding you. <laughs> Forget about me. Kill Arius. Don't worry. I've got you. <laughs> oh, man. Kino. I got you. Damn, that was a short mission. Don't worry, I got you. Strider's playing Luke? Uh-oh. I saw Momochi go back to Luke uh, uh, yesterday. That's not a good sign. It's over, Ed Bros. Why did you save me? I was created. By him. Every hero has a weakness. But the ritual was activated because of me. There's still time. We have until the sun is completely eclipsed. But how are you going to enter the building? The entrance is where there's a will, right? <laughs> Guys, it, it's it's cool because Dante only speaks when it's important, so it's more impactful Mother. when he does. Yes, it is true that we are not tied by blood. This old granny's not our mother. Are bound by history and experience, which is much deeper than blood. That makes no sense. Now go. Everything I know, I have. Hey, they didn't put a space between the period and the e. She lied to her all her life. She didn't even care. Four lights will open the sealed door, but will also invite the creepy to play. Oh, this area. Secret door to my left. Forward and left? Got it. A little creepy. Hopefully we don't have to hit those stupid switches again. Oh no! 
I need my uh, shotgun daggers. Wait, what? What? What the fuck? Okay, even the shotgun diggers suck. Oh, wait! What the hell? What? What is happening? Oh no. I gotta spawn all these guys. So I can hit them. Or do they despawn? Yeah, her her weapons aren't as nearly as strong as Dante. Not even close. Yeah, DMD mode with her would definitely be tougher. But maybe I'll check out some runs and see. Optimal. Oh, gotta hold R2. Oh no, it is a, a, a switch one. Uh oh. Woohoo! Woohoo! Ha! Gotcha. Used to say Bunky. So you need to release three more powers. Okay, uh, remember that spot at the beginning of the game where you jump over the walls to get the rusty key with Dante? No. I'm sure we can find it. Keep your eyes peeled for this stupid orb thing. But Dante was like right here, so they changed the spot. There's a path near one of the switches. I'm sure we'll find it. Stay strong. We will find it. This mission, I think, was like the longest mission because of the way it was designed. So we need to find three more switches. Check down the bottom path here. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> no more blood goats. I wish the camera would just turn around so I can see quickly. It's here. No, it's not. Venture forth. Hearing those footsteps. 
Anything down here on this side? a pretty good farming spot. There's a lot of these guys. They get a lot of orbs. I'm too bad doing that spinning bird kick so clunky. The dive kick? Yeah, I, th I think I did it. <laughs> right here. You have to uh, hold lock on on the floor to do it. It's not a dive kick though, this is a, a flying kick. Or a Lucane kick. Horizontal dive kick, yes. You dive forward. Oh, that's fun of the switch. It's near here. Gotcha. Okay, two more switches. Oh, this would be good for speed runs, though. Look how fast you go. Oh, what the hell? You can actually, like... Oh, I see. You... Weird. Okay. Holy shit. Look how... Look how... Look, how, look at that. Look how far we're going. Yeah, we're gaming now for sure. Look at that. Uh, from the switch head right, what time you can loop the kick forever? Check out this area first, see if there's a switch. Dude, the lock on him is so jank with this fucking flying sidekick. <laughs> what is happening? Oh shit. Does she have it on this too? Oh my god, she does. The game can't decide who to target. Well, at least it quick, quickly tells me where the enemies are. Damn, there is no switch here? Hmm. 
New tech. <laughs> Hold on, guys. New tech. Hold on. Tell me this game is not Kino. I dare you to tell me this game is not Kino. Somebody clip this. Clip this Kino right here. Was that the new weapon? I think it is. No, I lost the grade? How? Oh, so we got a lot of wars for that. Thing. Uh, I heard Liu Kang's pretty strong in MK1, actually. It's like the only thing this game cares about is Stinger and Launcher. It doesn't care about anything else. Wow, I killed him all the way over here? Holy shit. There we go. Zambak. High striking power. There we go. Finally. I hate how they gave it to us like so late. Oh yeah. Now we're gaming. Oh, it's, it's way shorter range. Way shorter range. Yeah, I saw that. Bunky was stupid. Yeah, the uh, peacekeeper or peacemaker hitbox was like insane. I don't know what that equivalent would be, like a giant explosion erupting around your character, hitting everything. I don't know what other fighting game would have something like that. Okay, is this a dead end? Is there any more stuff we need in this level, Bunky? I think that's where we came from, right? So we've got to go this way now. Is there anything up here? Oh, come on! Oh, my God. 
Let's test my my theory of of launcher stinger. Launcher. Stinger. Stinger. Launcher. 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 Stinger. Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This cat call. Mm -mm. My boy, here he comes. Yeah, I'm gonna switch the ice just in case. Oh my god, the screen is blurry. What happened? Coming closer. Oh, cool. You can jump sideways while flying. That's cool. The shell of his former self. Oh, he does jump. What the hell? He never did that for Dante. that bugged the game because it's permanently in blur mode. Sorry, Phantom. I'm sorry you were in DMC too. You can rest now. Sweet dreams, Phantom. Is that how they spelled Phantom? Or was it actually Phantom? I didn't even, like, notice. <laughs> they swarm like clouds and desperately seek the protector's blood. Damn, she doesn't fight that, uh... That tower boss, the one because of that, of the tower. That was a cool boss. Okay, definitely swords, right? What we got? We got 25k... The daggers are at 30k, so th that's, that's definitely a no-no, so it's definitely a prayer sword. 
Mm, should I go 10k? We have enough for a purple orb. Let's go purple orb. Do we have to knock them in the thingy again? Oh, we do? Okay. Where is the patch? I think it was on the right side somewhere, right? Oh, right here. Am I knocking him into it though? I don't really have like I don't have stinger, right? How do I know I mean knocking him into it? Wait, did I do it? I guess I did. <laughs> I'm assuming this is the the chrono one again. This will be useless to us. Bam. Yeah. Chrono. No, I need quick that. I want to waste my DT. Fire plus offense plus quick. That's our setup. Whoa, what the hell? That was a whole lot of whipping. All right, Stinger Launcher. That's how we get the grade up. Stinger Launcher. Stinger. Stinger Launcher. Damn it. No. Oh, these things are annoying because I keep targeting the air ones. Damn it, dude. Okay, I gotta kill these flying enemies. It's fucking up my lock on so many times. Man, the timer seems shorter this time around. It really is Stinger Launcher. That's what decides it. Oh, I almost lost it. Oh, did, he missed me. Her, her combo attacks are pretty evasive. That's good. No, oh, you piece of shit. The hell, am I gonna fail this? Now what? Oh, it starts over again? That'd be crazy for farming. Does the whole thing start all over again? Wouldn't this be like the best farming spot in the game? What the hell? Hey, different enemies this time too. Oh, 
Ow, ow. Here I'm rolling towards you. Rolling. There's an enemy, I'm rolling. You guys are way over there, come on. Those orbs, though. Wow, so much. Oh, that was way faster. Lots of ores. We got like almost 5,000 ores from this mission. Mission 12. The protector scales the skyscraper, believing in its own reason for existence. And the power up. Sword level 2 for sure. Oh wait, not enough. Damn it. Close though. Very close. Oh, I like this area. This area is cool. My grade. Oh, the stupid door. No, this fucking door, man. Hardest enemy in the game. Assist. <laughs> so stupid. That's where this game filling your dark soul with light. It's filling my soul with light. I don't know about dark soul though. What's that supposed to mean? Need like eight more eyes. That light. Wait, there's nothing up here? What the hell? What's the point of going up there then? Uh oh. Ah! Getting cleaved. Launcher. Stinger. Launcher. Launcher. Stinger. Launcher. Stinger. Launcher. Stinger. Oh, 
Nice, good orbs there. After the elevator ride, break the vase against a dead end wall and examine it. Break the vase. That's not a dead end wall. <clears throat> oh, that definitely is. Oh, he kicked me in the back. No, oh, I was mashing on dogs, dude. Mashing. Mashing and devil dashing. This is the final hidden room. Oh, because the first mission we would have gone them all. So it's half half the amount of missions for her. We have to go through that same madness bunker where we, where we get lost in that crazy maze. <laughs> You gotta break the vase, man. You ever play Zelda? You gotta break it. It's the rules. Not this time? Okay, good. This area is confusing. Aw, oh, you piece of shit. Sacrilege. <laughs> oh, she she gets a second chance to get an amulet. That's cool. Oh no, they're targeting. Ah!
just the room. Where the hell am I? Oh yeah, don't forget we have a map too. So we need to go west. Are we going the right way? Wait, we're going east? What the hell? It's hard. <laughs> okay, I understand the map layout now. Okay. North is to my left. Got it. Here is the room. Woo. Ah! Okay, I deserve that. Go and go. Oh my god, it's not targeting him. You piece of shit. Got some good ores from that extra room, though. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> More orbs for me. This game has the dumbest enemy names. Nice, yes, we cleared that faster this time. Okay, here we go again. Third time's a charm. Okay, careful, observe the pattern. Oh! Shit. I can't see! I can't see! That's everything, we're done. It's a wrap, Bunky. Woohoo! We're done. We have to remember, don't forget to remind me about mission select though. We gotta get that first mission done. We're done, Bunky. High five. Now just Kino. 
Yeah, the, the other thing was like way harder with Dante because uh, we had to go through the maze here. Okay, so now we need to go south middle. I think that's where I am actually. So that's good. Pretty sure. The map is useful in this game. It's just hard to tell which direction you're facing. Uh oh. Case in point. Okay, so that means we were on the northwest. We'll go this way. And then we go down this way. There we go. What what is happening with the camera? <laughs> what the hell was this? That was that done in Sony Vegas? Dude, that was like Vesper Arcade like editing adventures for year one when I did my DDR run. Holy shit. Oh, it's my favorite boss, guys. That's a that's a that was a joke. That's DBZ rollback? <laughs> Who is this guy? You fool. Everyone is destined to die. Take that. You didn't think about that, did you? No. That one's the most dangerous one, the shock guy. Pretty much this phase, you can't really do anything, you just kind of just survive. Nice! <laughs> you know. <gasps> There's no items around here?
Dude, it's like so hard because the lock on like just spontaneously changes for like no reason. Oh, what the hell is more enemies? Okay. Oh, what? You could have just okay. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, time for Kino. There's my boy. Yes, best cussing. Where's Qua? Ed buffs, baby. It's just enough time for an upgrade. What's going on, Miker? Which KOF you talking about? 15? Kino? Every KOF? Miker. Talk to me. What's going on, Miker? Who'd you lose to, bro? Everyone? So everyone is doing gimmicks except for you? Where could you look, Kayla? What the hell happened? I'm way too smart! <laughs> Which characters do you play, Miker? That are able to match your intelligence? Tell me more. Yeah, there's a lot of movement, man. Excellent. Excellent day. Thanks, Dragoon! Of course. I'm Dante. There's just one thing left. Oh no! Kill me. That's Kill not the weapon me, I was using. Will be over. I thought I was a descendant of the clan that protects Vidomarli. Vidomarli? The ones who have the blood of the devils. But the truth is. I was created by Arius. Did they even explain how Arius even created her? I'm a monster and attack the humans at any time. Now, kill me. It's your job to hunt devils. It said demons on the bottom of the screen. His translation. Oh yeah, Dante's design in this game. Peak. Gambit. Absolute peak. I might go out and buy that jacket right now. So what the hell happens now? What does she do while Dante is like going to hell? Maybe he gets tails this time. My job is hunting devils. Once you enter the demon world, you may never be able to return. I'll go. I'm expendable. Oh no, the tears in her eye already. <laughs> you don't need to worry about me. 
I'm happy if I can die like a human. Qua. No. Devils don't cry. Devils never cry. <laughs> but let's leave it to fate. Heads, I go. Tails. I'm getting emotional. See you around. About Sparta from Mathieu. I know. He did the same thing. Hold on to my coin, Lucia. Oh man. Maybe it's like a cool thing where the coin is like two sides head, so he always does what he Dante. says. Wait, who's this? Who the hell is this? Yes. What? Randomly? I mean, okay. It seems I have to finish him off myself. Damn, man! Capcom, hire this writer again. Kino. The path to forgiveness is cleaned with blood. What do you mean cleansed? Anyways, let's power up our sword. <laughs> Deeps. <laughs> the janitor wrote this. Hey you, you want a job? Oh! Damn, he's got Ouroboros. And he owns a company called Ouroboros. Ow! Oh. It doesn't do that much damage, surprisingly. Okay. Maybe because of, uh, I, I have the fire equipped. This fire on Let's go frost. Nice. You 
You are not human. You are just a monster. This doesn't make any sense. Uh oh, that was the. <laughs> oh my God, she said it. And my name's not <laughs> Lucia. It's two XKO, bitch. Whoa. What final form? You know what they need in this game? They need a, a shmup section. Argo Sax. Uh oh. No, not that. Like, not like the shooting. I mean, like, you know where Dante's flying around at the end of DMC one. Come on, guys. Whoa! Oh, he actually goes near the ground. Cool. Did it! What is that death animation? What the hell? <laughs> uh, okay. What the hell? Why do you disappear like uh, like a Tron character? You must not God, you die like you got hit by a Tron frisbee. I am sure that he will return. Everything is just as it was with Sparta. This character has the most dialogue in the game. Old lady. Oh my. What is it, my dear? Both sides are. Hey. No! <laughs> I called it! <laughs> and a flashback to Naruto Styles! <laughs> no! No! The Vesper Curse! The Coin Twist! <laughs> uh. What if Dante said Tails and then she found out? Wow, and the credits! So guys, was it Kino? Damn, we're done. That's a wrap, guys. I can finally say with confidence that I've played Devil May Cry 2. I've finally seen this game, and someone asks me, Vesper, this game was ass. I'll be like, uh-uh-uh, it's Kino. <laughs> yeah, this game was pretty much worse than DMC1 in almost every single way. But the highlights are definitely, I think it's cool you play as two characters. It's pretty much the same thoughts I had on our first playthrough with Dante. It's cool you play as two characters, Dante's design is amazing. The jacket, the the, the 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 mean look, all the artwork they have, the box art, everything, loading screen artwork, all that. 
amazing. It's cool, there's a whole bunch of bosses in this game, different types of bosses. Even though you fight them all exactly the same. Uh, I like there's a dodge button. I don't like that jump is X. <laughs> Uh, the camera angles are a little bit better, but the lock-on system is jank. At least you can hold R2 to D-lock. And... Yeah, like everything I saw in my first playthrough. The combat is like... <laughs> really jank. Like super jank, bro. Crazy hit stop, the enemy standing around looking at you doing nothing. The, the enemy design is definitely worse than DMC1. DMC1 had some amazing enemy design. The puppets, bro. Really sick. And the, the Reapers. The music's okay. There was no infested tanks in DMC1, though. Or infested chopper. Mm -hmm. And Arius is sick. Super cool. He's Heihachi and JP combined. And I got to see my boy Phantom. Uh, what else? I like this mission select. I like that there's a bloody palace they added. Cool. That's that, that's a legacy that came from this game. That's cool. DMC three win? I don't know. Someday. Someday. Collaboration with Diesel. Oh man, so random. Wow, look at that artwork, guys. Pure Kino. It's a no. The goat. The also white win. Ninja Gaiden next. We'll see. Right now, there's Tomb Raider, possibly some Metal Gear games, and OG Ninja Gaiden. We'll see. Mm -mm. Or maybe more DMC. Or I might want to continue Castlevania stuff. Too much retro. But I'm glad. So yeah, the the DMD mode. I don't know if we'll be playing in this game. We probably will, but I don't know if I'll be doing a fresh file. We'll see. I have to investigate it. If we want to do a challenge run or not. I don't know if it'll be worth it. Whoa, we're back in the, the thingy. It's cool. My job is hunting devils. Devils never cry. <laughs> Man, they said it three times on our playthrough. I know. <laughs> he did the same thing. <laughs> But Sparta did come back. Uncharted? That's a little new for our retro runs. Heard a motorcycle, but we don't know if it was Dante or not. Could have been Trish. But we know playing Dante's playthrough. Yeah, I wonder how confusing that'd be if we played uh, Lucia first. Mm -mm. All right, we got unfinished business, Bunky. We got to get back to mission one. Grab that last thing. Total results. Woohoo! Look at our rankings. B for beautiful. Mm -mm. And C for cracked. Mm -hmm. Lucia's D uh, diesel costume. Yeah, this got spoiled for us when we played as uh, Dante. <laughs> Bloody Palace! We gotta check this out. Now enjoy the hard mode. Wow, look at that. Looks super cool. Wow. How do we play Bloody Palace? Do we do it in a new game? I have to go to low game first. Mm, character select. Ooh, there's the diesel. Nice. And okay to load. How do we do this? It's 
still a lot of content we didn't unlock. Double hard mode. Like I said, I don't think we're gonna do that. I'm just going to straight up just grab a save file. No reason to play through hard mode and then do DMD. I was gonna go straight to DMD. All right, so this bloody palace is like. Oh, it's in the the, the mission rooms. Damn. So it'd be like on a floating platform. So one thing I heard, guys, you, you see these uh these secret missions, right? If you if you do the secret missions and then play through it on hard mode, you can actually redo the missions and it can go past twenty, and it can even go up to like sixty, and they get harder and harder to like they're most like they're absolutely insane. The game actually remembers from your first playthroughs, so that's pretty cool. You had the urge to buy some jeans, White Wind? Damn. You know what I have the urge right now, White Wind? Play some Tekken, baby. So what's this? What's the difference between these three? Is this one level lower and one level higher? I don't get it. Level 100?! Oh, so you can skip a hundred levels? Let's see how tanky these guys are. <laughs> Asuka time? Might be. Just might. <laughs> yeah, I was going through the Asuka t uh, move list. Wait, when I'm ve I was very pleased with what I saw, and I read through the. Like the heat system for her through the game and it's quite simple there's only like three moves that are buffed and i checked the frame data and all that so i think we'll have a really easy time learning the game playing her right now what i need to do is figure out a good custom for her mm -mm. the easy one i was thinking of is sailor jupiter but there's one that i have an idea for but it's risky it's risky I don't know if I can if I can pull it off. I can't tell you who it is because I have you guys have to be able to figure it out by looking. If you can't if you guys won't be able to know who it is, then I failed basically. So I have to work on it. You just have some Steve Fox sauce recently? Yeah? By Steve Fox, do you mean Ed? Showtime, baby! So you can farm orbs through the Bullity Palace? That's crazy. This would definitely be the best way then. Wow, look at those orbs. Man, I'm already on level like 300. Like it's not even that hard yet. Well, how, what level does this go up to, Bunky? Wait, that was that was level three hundred. It goes to ten thousand. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Ten thousand. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> How hard does it get? Oh, we definitely gotta do this one with Dante, not Lucia. We need we need R99 hands. So much content. Yeah, seriously. I'd have to see that on YouTube. There's no fucking way we're going through 10,000 levels. So the t it's basically a hundred levels then if you keep skipping it. You know, because Vesper map.
Is there boss fights? Start spawning? If there's boss fights, that's really cool. There is? That's sick. I like that. See, look, like, you see how it's mixing in the enemies here? This is what I wish the game did more of. Because, like, it, it didn't really do that. Look at him go. I gotta hold R2 for this guy. Oh, he's already respawned. Some of the floors have double bosses? Oh, that's insane. There's so little there's between 100 levels, why would you ever go up by one? I think it's supposed to be like, cool, Mocker, you know, like, like, whoa, I'm on level 9,000, bro, you know? Like that one that was like level 300 with the bats was like ridiculous. Like I shot some bats and it was like boom, next level. It's over 9,000? It could be. Why wouldn't it? could be. We gotta finish the Orochi story too in Tekken as well. Diesel jeans. Are we gonna play DMC three? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not planning too far ahead here. But right now, I'm just enjoying playing. Some retro, Ed, and some Tekken. US version of DMC, the HD collection version, baby version. Oh, just like DMC one, same thing. Just like DMC one, hey. Eh? Yeah, we don't want that. We need authenticity. Yeah, that one took a while. I think I switched to the fire amulet.
Ow, ow. I don't really get to see these guys, these guys' spells that they cast. They take so long. So, like, like it doesn't make sense to just fight... Uh, a Pyromancer is all these mages in general by themselves because there's like no front line. You just fight them and you kill them all before they even cast their spells. They're supposed to be like in the back line, you know? It's like the basic action game hack and slash setup. I was gonna take some damage now. So I take it when I go through the portals, it heals me a little bit, probably. I guess the DT heals me too. I can use the healing uh, power up. Tower defense, Path of the Goddess. Let's see if it healed me. Level 700. Oh, it didn't even heal me. So you gotta use the, the DT healing orb. Do I, do I earn anything, Bunky, from doing Bloody Palace? Besides, obviously, farming red orbs and the satisfaction of victory. Reagan right? I love that shit. But in modern times, we call those Chivos, bro. Chivos are cringe? No way. No way. If it wasn't for Chivos, I wouldn't be sitting here with you guys right now, streaming. That's what got me to do the Street Fighter Trials in the first place. Showtime, baby. In the trials. Oh yeah, I like how it shows the enemy health bars in this game too. That's another plus. I don't get a tunes like if they're in game and have unlocks tied to them, that's one thing, but the Xbox style tunes unlocks has always been dumb to me. Why? I I, I think the trophy system makes more sense because uh I, I told you guys I used to get into huge <laughs> forum wars back then when people would fill themselves for like uh how much points they have. I don't I know but like you be more specific, like what do you mean you don't get the like what's the difference? Like between PlayStation and Xbox, like, what do you mean? Are you talking like the achievement itself? It was one of like the greatest ideas that Microsoft had. No, it. You you don't you don't understand the point of like achieving something. I'm still confused, what do you mean? Like, the achievements... It's just like, uh... Something that with evidence to show that you've earned something or something... A goal, right? It just adds a lot of, like... 
longevity to a game because they're not just simply, uh, you know, beat the game. It could be something really clever or something really challenging, like doing the the overtime in, in Dead Rising. Like, there's some whack ones that are like grindy, you know, like the the what's it called, the gear, the infamous Gears of War one. But there's some really cool ones. There's one where you have to be like. The, all the challenges in DDR, that's the one I remember the most, and uh, the bullet witch one that only gave you a single point for being on uh, the on the hell mode. And there's there's clever ones like with the uh, orange box, like that the half life, where you have to like escort that gnome across a uh, with a rocket ship and and weird things. Like it's really cool. And then you have it like as kind of like a, a badge to say, hey, I did it, you know, which is nice. And other people can see it too, but obviously, you know, only you're going to care. Validation seeking behavior? No, man, it's... What are you talking about, dude? What's the, what's the point of playing the game, Mockery? For validation? Are you a serial killer? How do you not understand that? How's that validation? <laughs> like, that's so extreme what you just said. <laughs> Why well, have fun, bro? You seeking validation? Wait, didn't I die, guys? Don't tell me I used the yellow orb. I mean, it's cool to compare the rarity or the amount of like when what I did when I did the Chivo thing was I I saw how difficult achievement was by comparing it with the rest of the world how many people unlocked it and a lot of people do take that stuff seriously it's just another thing right another fun thing to do very satisfying like acing your favorite game and it's uh it's good a community thing too because a lot of people there's like we'll get together and figure out a way to like effectively uh ace a game there's tons of guides and stuff like dude it was like one of the most clever things ever and once xbox did it everyone wanted it right they even have it for uh, the retro emulators retro achievements it's on steam you can earn stuff from it it's like the best. It's the bomb. It's just a very clever thing. I think they're all dumb. <laughs> I think I think you're trolling, Mocker. There's no way you actually think that. I I there's no way. You're definitely trolling. More power to you, right? I've, I've never met someone who doesn't like fun before, so, you know, everyone's different. The, the only downside to achievements is addiction, because as somebody who professionally unlocked achievements, in my lifetime, I've seen the dark side, bro. I've seen some... I've had some clients, we'll put it, that have... That have offered me some... A lot of money where I, I would have... I was like, hey, look, this guy's got a problem, you know? I've seen the dark side. 
It can, it can get addictive, plus, just like anything. That people that want to, to ace some really hard games. Including Street Fighter. You guys wouldn't believe what people would offer to get the game done for them. You know, and it's not it's not them accomplishing it, right? It's just so they can have it on their account. Yeah, I mean it's it's cool, Mockery, if if you if you think they're meaningless to you. But they're not meaningless, right? I mean, that's that's cool. I've, I've never really met someone before who, who thought that. It's interesting. Actually explains a lot. You're close to acing Street Fighter 6? I am too, but you know what's left for me? The whack-ass extreme battle stuff. I need Bunky's help for that. Because no one plays him anymore. Well, that's what I was saying, B. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> we did. Yeah, the Bully Palace would be way cooler if the, the combat uh, was more fun. But, it, like I said, this is a good way to, to get some orbs, and it started something, right? It started the beginning of Bloody Paws for DMC. Oh, you got them? See, Palm? Achievement Hunter. Alright, uh... Funky, let's get this last thingy. Let's finish the fight. So, mission, it was mission one, right, Bunky? It was the very beginning we screwed up. Yeah, I mean, it depends on what you consider cumbersome, you know, Joe? Like, for me personally, I avoided games that had, like, really whack, grindy, like, multiplayer achievements, like, get a certain amount of kills, but if there's ones that are like really challenging and it's more about how hard it is rather than like how long it takes to grind, those are what were really, really interesting. There were some really tough ones like back in the day when it first began. Mm -mm. Are you ready? It's, it's not about...
Yeah, it's... I mean, like I said, there's there's a lot of reasons, but the most basic is simply... Is simply like, yeah, a scout badge is like an old school way of putting it. It's just, it's just... It's not even proof, but it can be used as proof. It, it also gives you ideas of accomplishments to do. Like I said, they're not all necessarily just beating the game. Some of them are really clever. Oh no. I think Mockery is trolling. There's no way he actually thinks this way. There's no way. Why did Why did you beat the Souls games at level one, Mockery? Are you seeking validation, bro? Why did you even share that with us? I'm trying to seek validation. Okay, don't go in the church, right? right here. See, it says 10, because it's supposed to be 2 or 1 or whatever. Other way, achievements, like I said, they're really, really cool. And like I said, we still technically kind of do achievements with our retro runs. Like I said, after we beat a game, sometimes we'll try to do a challenge run ourselves. We're like low-key kind of trying to create our own achievals to do. Satisfies my OCD. This is the only time you fight the doggos uh, with Lucia. If I wasn't doing the whole streaming and fighting game stuff, I would love to do achievements still for everything. But the way the PlayStation has it set up, I think it's a little bit better than Xbox. Because the Xbox, it's just point system. Unless they changed it. But by last, before, it was just point system. Whereas PlayStation, you get platinum trophies. And I think the platinum trophy idea is great because... Oh, wait. This isn't... This definitely isn't uh, what it was. this mission was supposed to be. It just remembers from where we left off. Anyways, um... Because if you... Let's say you play like a game where there's one really hard achievement, you could just skip it. And... Or if it wasn't worth a lot of points. Right? Like, obviously, like, I don't know, beating Devil May Cry 1, if it was 50 points to do DMD mode, would be way harder than, like, you know, 50 points for just beating the first boss or something. So the, the, the Platinum Trophy was, like, a clever way to make the ace in the game more meaningful. Yo, what's up, Haps? How's it going, buddy? Yo, Haps, man. Guess which character Momochi was playing this morning. 
He was playing your boy, bro. He was playing Luke. He was he went back to Luke. <laughs> we are doomed. Well, we'll see. Maybe it was just he needed like a uh, vacation like me. And any, uh, ending Walker did the, the tweet with the infamous naming a million different Ed weaknesses, and at the end of the tweet saying he's got potential. <laughs> I love that the option select. I'm gonna say a character is bad, but I'm gonna say he has potential just in case it's proven wrong later. He's not main him, is he? There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. There's no way. Dude. The fact that any walker plays DJ as well with Ryu, it already gives me a glimpse of like... He's gonna play like... A good character, you know? Well, like I said, those Ryu buffs are really strong, so... If they buff Ryu even more after this like main patch, that's gonna be huge. Like seriously, that that Hashogeki buff was. When you play against Ryu, you feel that pressure, man. It's very strong. I think Guile smashes Ryu though. I don't think the Hashogeki buff like helps Ryu's bad matchups, but. Guile is a really bad one for Ryu. Smash his Ryu. Woohoo! We did it! Uh, Vesper, alright, since the safe file for DMD will spoil you anyways, there's a th thing I'll tell you now. Uh oh. Bunky's gonna spoil me, guys. What is it? Being hard mode unlocks Trish for both this and her game. What do you mean? Trish is in this game? And her <laughs> spoilers! Oh my god! Wait, if Trish is in the game, why wasn't she the second character in the first place? Her gameplay is identical to DMC1 style? Whoa! Does she have the uh the Sparta sword? Because if she does, that explains MEC3, which means DMC2 is canon, baby. Really? Oh my god. Everything came from Devil May Cry 2 confirmed. Wait, can we play Trish in DMD? Wait, what's her campaign like? Does she do Dante's missions or, or does she have her own missions? Because she has her own, we have to play her for sure. Maybe what we can do is we can play as Trish on DMD mode. And then we could do two birds with one stone. That would definitely give us a reason to beat DMD. We should do that. Cool, cool. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. Wow. Alright, let's save. Oh, wait, quit the mission. Trish gives two reasons. Hey, Trish saved Devil May Cry 2, guys. I mean, I'm sure I was going to play the DMD mode anyways, but now for sure. That'd be cool. I want to see what the other costumes look like, too. If there, if there is any, is there any more costumes or is it just the diesel stuff? Because there was like a, a selection thingy, which implied there was more, but there is. Okay. Does Trish have different costumes, too? Man, they really should have made Trish the second character then. I mean, I mean, Lucia is, you know, some of her moves are really cool looking, you know, pretty clever. But Trish would have been the obvious choice as a second character. Yeah, content. All right, whatever. We'll meet up on uh, Discord, Bunky, and um, and uh, you can fill me in. We can figure out. So I think we should do one more Devil May Cry 2 run, boys. One more. Sometime in the future, we'll figure it out. But uh, yeah. I'm glad I officially beat the game now, so happy.
we unlock that achievement for it. And yeah, Bunky, thanks a lot too for guiding me through the game, helping me get all the blue orbs for Dante and for Lucia. It went much, much smoother than I expected. That's for sure. All right, GG's.